Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Jeff, KH6O. And uh, he asks this, I would like to build an antenna for 6 meters, 2 meters, and 220 megahertz. Any ideas? Multiple J-poles that could be fed with a single feed line. Uh, you could do that if you didn't mind some of them being horizontal, but I've got a, a different idea for you. Uh, before we do that, I just want to say thank you to Martin Christiansen. He is a brand new patron of this channel. You too can become a patron by going to uh, patreon.com slash ke0og. Enough of that. Now, let's uh, go to answer the question. Okay, the first thing you can do is buy one. Uh, I found this one for you. This is a quad band antenna that covers six meters, two meters, and 220, as well as 440. It's a little pricey, it's 200 bucks, okay? Uh, it's an outdoor antenna, and it is designed to be mounted vertically for FM work, and you'll have to put up a mast for this, and it should work uh, pretty well. It claims that it will provide some gain on six meters, about two dB of gain, two meters, about six dB of gain, 220, about eight. Okay, so, and on, on 440 probably, you see it just gives a 268 there. Okay, note this is a four band antenna. I couldn't find anybody who made a tri band antenna, so you get another band for free. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now there are other ways. If you want, you could take a piece of metal and attach to it um, an SO239 here for your cable. And then you do a fan vertical. You do a piece up here that's a quarter wave on six meters, another one that's a quarter wave on two meters, quarter wave on two, and one that is a quarter wave on uh, 1.25 meters. I guess it would be a little taller there. Okay, and then this is, you'll need an insulator of some kind, and then you want your outer conductor to go to at least some sort of a series of radials if you're going to put the thing up in the air. Now six meters, a quarter wavelength of that is 1.5 meters, which is almost five feet. Okay, so that's going straight up. You can do that with a piece of pipe, something. Uh, this right here is a 19 inch for that, and this is even shorter. These could be strong pieces of wire, uh, like six gauge stretched out straight, or you could put a small piece of pipe if you wanted, anything like that. Now this is just connected to this piece here, and this is insulated from the uh, mast, and of course insulated from the counterpoise, okay? So this would work for you, this is called a fan vertical, and it's a standard antenna, it's just like a fan dipole, only it's up instead of laying down, okay? So there's a couple ideas for you. Well, Jeff, I hope that answers your question. Now, if you're gonna feed those antennas together, you wanna get the feed point right next to each other, uh, like on the uh, fan uh, vertical there, or purchase this multiband antenna that MFJ has. Um, people like making their own antennas, so go ahead, give it a shot. In theory, when you elevate a vertical, you should have two tuned um, radials for the for each band. So for at six meters, you'd want a quarter wave uh, radial going that way, and another one going that way. For two meters, the same. And for 440, it's almost not worth bothering. They're about that long, okay? They're pretty short. So uh, this is an antenna that's very wide band. Um, covering all those bands. Being good verticals, you probably want to tune 
the six meter one for the lower end of the band if you're doing um, what's called weak signal work, which is a euphemism for everything other than FM. Uh, two meter vertical for uh, FM work. Uh, there is FM on six meters and there is FM on those other bands. I will tell you of all the bands that you have picked, um, two meters is the one where you'll find the most activity. The next one is uh, 70 centimeters, but you d didn't say you needed that for the antenna. And uh, 1.25 meters has some repeaters, uh, especially in congested metro areas. So lots of things to think about. I hope that helps and good luck in your project. Uh, if you've watched this far, can I ask a favor? And that is that you share this video with your friends. Another thing I would like to ask you to do is subscribe. Subscribing just simply tells YouTube, yeah, you like this channel. Now, if you go ahead and click the bell also, uh, YouTube will pester you with all kinds of notifications about the latest videos. So um, a lot of people don't uh, click that, but a lot of people do because they want notifications of the videos. Otherwise, you won't know when I put up a new video. I would like to pay a special tribute to Bill Hudson. He saw me at Pacificon uh, this last October, and he took a selfie with me, and here it is, a selfie with him. If you've taken a selfie with me at one of the uh, hemp fests that we've had, do send it along, and I'll include it in a video. So thank you to all of you, and until we next meet, 73.